In today's video, I will show you how to create your own API to generate random words using Superbase. This is what the final result will look like using Postman, which is a free API client where you can easily make API calls and it's free to download so that you can easily follow along. Once we make a request to a specific URL and hit send, we will now see a response back from the API giving us a random word. If we hit send again, we can expect to see another random word just like you see here. And just before we look at the code, I would recommend watching my previous video on how to create an edge function using Superbase as I will be resuming from the end of that video. Also, I will leave a link in the description and in the comments where you can download all of the code that you see during this tutorial. Switching over the code, I will now explain how to generate a random word and return it as the response for this specific API. Most of the code here is very similar to the code in the previous tutorial, but now I'll explain the changes that I've made to return a random word as a response. Starting on line 4, I just have an array of random words as you can see here, but I'm just going to hide it because it's a long list of words. On line 103, I'm just generating a random number from 0 all the way to the length of the noun list. Once I have the random number, I will just use that number to return a random noun from the noun list and I store it inside of a key called random word which is stored inside an object called data and on line 108 I'm returning the entire data object as part of the API response. Once we have finalized our changes we just now need to deploy it and we can easily do that by running this command that you see here. The only two changes you need to make are that you need to update the project name with your own project name. So in this example, mine is word generator API, but just make sure to use whatever the name of your project is. And at the very end, there's a project ID that you need to replace with your own project ID. And you can easily get this value by logging to your Superbase dashboard. On the left hand side, just click on edge functions, click on your project. And here, right after the word project, this is your project ID. So just copy that value and make sure to paste it as part of this command. Once you updated the command with your own project variables, just copy it and then paste it into your terminal and hit enter. If you did everything correctly, you should now see a similar message letting you know that your function was deployed successfully. Going back to Superbase dashboard, if we scroll down, we can copy this curl to easily make the API call. Switching to Postman, I can now import the curl by going to File, Import, and just pasting it in. Then we can hit send and we should now see a random word as part of our API response. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.